Well, how do that, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, I'm inside of No Man's Sky, and I figured I might as well push on with the Atlas Eternal quest line. Now, something a little bit odd has happened as I went to push on with this Atlas Eternal quest line, is when you hit on up the actual log, and you hit it here, it says you need to present wonders to the Atlas, which is great, because I've got loads of wonders. Yeah, yeah, I've pretty much populated all of it. If I go to my wonders catalogue and I go to personal records, all my wonders have frickin' vanished. I wonder where my wonders have gone! Ah, pretty odd. I've only left with two. I don't know why these two. I mean, we've got Bobby there. Yeah, this is from the old weekend missions. And a droid planet that I found some time ago. So I don't know what's happened. It's not even discoveries that I got from the expedition. So, for whatever reason, it's just decided to just wipe out a shed load of mine. I mean, I can go and present these to the Atlas, but they weren't my favourite wonders. So, anyway, let's, let's, let's just get on with it, shall we, people? Um, depending on how many steps we have to do, though, I might have to go and pick up some of my lovely previous wonders. Which is lucky I make videos on most of the things that I find that I think are special. So I can jump on back. But, you know, if you're not a content creator and you don't keep records of all your portal codes... Fun times for anybody else that have lost their wonders. Anyway, I've upgraded my my uh, Starborn Runner. These are the stats of my Starborn Runner. It's not anything to write home about, but it's it's now my completed ship. This is this is how I'm going to be rocking around in the Starborn Runner. Right. Anyway, I guess we better go and find ourselves an Atlas station. So the easiest way for me to do that would be to go and see Polo inside of the Nexus and ask him to locate me an Atlas station. So I'll go do that quickly, people. Well, it looks like he's got an audience today, people. Right, well, let's go and have a quick chat to him. Hello there, my friend. Yes, I'm after an Atlas station coordinations, please, sir. Thank you. Lovely. I'll be on my way. Now, on this save, I am hoping to align myself with the Atlas. I mean, my logo colours, as you know, people, there's, there's my logos right there, are red, white and black. And the Atlas is very red and black. So there we are. And that's pretty much what I'm, <laughs> I'm aligning to. Why? Because if it, if, it, if it does affect gear at some stage... You know, if you align yourself with maybe the Atlantid or the Void Mother, I'd imagine everything's going to be quite purple. Jason Blaze might want to hit that one up. He loves purple. But me, myself, no. I'm going to be um, keeping with the old red theme. So I'm going for the Atlas. On, on this save, anyway. On my PC experimental save, I'm going to align myself to the Atlantid. So, yeah. I'm going to do a little bit of both worlds. The only thing is, I'm quite reluctant to jump on in over on my PC experimental save and try and get it as far as my actual PlayStation save for two reasons. One, my, my, my laptop isn't all that powerful and it does lose the odd frames. And the second thing is, I don't want to have to learn all the Atlas words all over again. That was painful. It's like watching paint dry. And if you are doing the Atlas path, it'd be nice to know what the Atlas is bloody saying. I really wish Hello Games would add in ways to learn all the Atlas words a little bit quicker. And not just the Atlas words, perhaps all race words. You know, now that there's like, what, over 900 words per race, it'd be nice, nice if we could just, you know, maybe learn 10 words per knowledge stone or something. I am looking at putting some mods on my PC save to actually speed up the language count. There isn't really one for Atlas words. That, well, there is and there isn't. There's one, but it doesn't say exactly how you learn the Atlas words all that quickly. It's like, oh. Yeah, you learn extra Atlas words by going to a monolith, but I'm not going to tell you the other ways that you can learn Atlas words, but they are in there. Ha ha ha. It doesn't really help too much if you want to make content and run around trying to guess how you learn Atlas words, just as a little bit of a pointer. So, I don't know. I might have to ask somebody that's quite good at making mods to kindly add a mod in there that maybe lets you learn, say, 50 words per Atlas stone. Um, for any of the races that you, you, you're on. But then also when you hit these bubbles maybe in here, maybe you learn yourself, say like, you know, 30 words or something of the Atlas per bubble. Yeah, if you're any good at making mods, please make it. So these little bubbles in here, all of them are active and all of them give you like, what, 
50 words or something mental. That would speed it up a bit. That would make it a little bit easier, wouldn't it? I guess it would. Right, let's go hit these up as well. Boom. Grab those. Sweet! Because, yeah, that's, that's my biggest off-put. Learning the words. Anyway, let's go speak to the Atlas and see what the Atlas has got to say. Chicka boom! The Atlas has created infinite stars, infinite worlds, infinite life. I cannot see them all, nor even truly begin to understand the multitude of existence. But perhaps even among these endless wonders, each moment can still have meaning. Any atom may see the new universe if viewed the right way. Okay. Hold on. I've only got I've only got two wonders in my wonders catalogue. But now it's coming up and asking me what I want to present. Great. Okay, well, I, yeah, I discovered planet Dimur. It doesn't even put the name in that I called the dang thing, so I don't know what I'm selecting. It shudders in response as if the fabric of space-time were to sigh. Well, yeah, I, I'm going to give a bit massive sigh at this. Ha! Huh. Somewhere out in the beyond, a new star is born, seeded by what I have seen. Great. How do I go there? No, nope. okay, okay. Well, it, it it looks like um we've got to locate another atlas um point. Fun times! Off we go then. Yes, <laughs> fun to be had. Okay, jumps. Well, I enter exited out of the old nexus, and now I'm just calling in the old space anomaly. The only trouble is, is I'm worried it might point me back to the same freaking atlas menu. Let's just go to the galactic map because it's it's saying go to the galactic map. I think it's found me another Atlas station without me having to go and speak to Polo. That was lucky I saw that little message pop up, wasn't it? Nice. Something I've noticed is the hues to the actual openings to the Atlas seems to have changed. And you see these sort of ripples that are coming out. I am wondering whether we might get given some sort of new sort of trail, like the Atlas Trail for our engines or something. I think that might be a thing that might be might come into it. And you see like as you're going in there's like all these little like cubes and things as well. It sort of distorts around the edges like little pixels. You see them on the front of my ship now. Yeah, I think we're going to get some sort of new wavy davy ship engine sort of thing guys, I guess. Anyway, I'll see you down at the Atlas. Okay, chum. So just a bit of a recap. Let's just have a look at my wonders. So I have got two wonders. I've got Droid Planet, Imbra, okay, and I've also got this little guy called Bobby, but his real name is Apathenselaeum, okay? Now, neither of those were options for me to choose earlier when I spoke to the Atlas. Let's see what options it gives me this time, because it seems to be that the Wonders catalogues play no sort of relevance. So what I can select. The Atlas has created infinite stars, infinite worlds. That's the same thing it said last time. Okay, yeah, I will show you one of my atoms. Yes. And there we go. They're not any. They're not any. <laughs> of my wonders. Oh my God. Okay, well this just feels like a pointless exercise of nothingness okay well there we go i'll give him that one then because <laughs> sod it yeah there we go a plant i discovered on the planet hawali xxi okay as i transmit this data i feel the crimson heartbeat of the station slow to calm and considerate cadence and then a rapid thudding a staccato echoes that fills my entire being Somewhere out in the beyond, a new star is born, seeded by what I have seen and shared with the Atlas. Yes. Chicka boom, chicka pa pa. Done. Uh, oh, got to do that again. Oh, what joy! Okay, okay, let's head on out then. Let's do that again. But at least we know we can do it straight from the galactic map, people. To what ends? I don't know. But we're birthing stars all over the freaking shop, mate. Okay, well, we've arrived at Cated in this system now. Let's just spin it around. I wonder how many times we've got to go see the Atlas. I have heard that it's three times. So this will be the third time. So maybe something different is going to happen inside this one when I show it my third wonder. Or maybe I have to jump to a fourth one. Let's find out, shall we, people? Let's head on in. I'll see you by the Atlas. Okay, this one looks more freaky freaking deaky, mate. It's, um... 
is like flesh wrapped in metal. Look at it. It looks freaking sinister. Okay, right. If this was in the movie Hellraiser, it would be in keeping. And now we need is just a load of chains to come out and freaking muller me. Right, okay, let's, let's grab these because I'm having these. Freaking having them for free, mate. Right, okay, come on then. Let's see what we've got this time. Yes, exactly the same lingo. Cool. All right, well, what shall I show him this time? Um, well, that's the same freaking plant I showed it last time. I'll show it this, this thing this time. There you go. There you go. Brilliant. And another star is born. Budge. Okay. Uh, radio. It says to go and find another one. Okay, we, well, we can do this all freaking day. Well, we can't. I get bored shitless, to be fair. But we're flying out and we'll see if the fourth one does anything. Because I have heard people are, are, are getting some sort of seed of the denier if they deny the Atlas. Well, I want to um, partner with the Atlas and see what it says. So we'll do that. Okay, well, it looks like we're back to this shellless sort of one. And we haven't got the pedestals giving me any sort of warp fuels. So let's have a little word with the Atlas interface. Hello? Okay, we're getting all this again. The same sorts of dialogues. And we've got the same planet that we gave earlier. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I've already given it this planet. I've already given it that, that fauna. I've already given it that flora. Okay, we, we go for that planet again. Right. Okay. Well, it's not letting me choose the actual wonders I've got. And I think that's about done now. Because it hasn't moved on at all. So let's go to the actual log. Yeah, that's weird. All right, fine. It's not telling me to go find another Atlas station anymore. And it didn't ask me to make a choice. Whether I want to... S oh, here we go. Now it's brought up the text. And it looks like we're just going to be doing that infinitely then, people. Uh, fun times. Joy of joys. Okay, well... I have no idea what's going on right now, people. Well, this is pretty weird. The two pedestals are back. And it looks like I can grab some more warp fuel. It just feels like this is looping to me now, people. I'm just going to go and have a word with this one. If it's exactly the same text, exactly the same wonders, I don't think things are happening. Okay, here we go. Let's have a look see. Okay, it's got a different planet this time. Um, but yeah, the... the oh, there we are. Sweet. Okay, well, the Atlas might be given out size, but yeah, so are my people. Um, I'm not really feeling this, to be fair. I don't really feel that it's working right or correctly. I mean, it's not linked to my wonders. In fact, all of my wonders have been completely obliterated. It seems to be picking up wonders that are invisible to me. And it just seems to be going by random things, not my wonders, inside my catalogue. So unless I'm misinterpreting this or misunderstanding it, I kind of feel that this might be bugged out. Or it might be that they've put in the very first steps of a new quest line, but haven't quite finished it off. I honestly don't know what's going on with this, but it's not fun. And it just seems to be giving us a new way to give us some sort of nanites. I honestly feel that we are supposed to be getting a larger update. They've cut it down into smaller chunks and left in the footprints of what is to come. And I honestly feel that that's why we're seeing this sort of janky disconnect. is because of some janky disconnected programming. Is my feeling. I mean, what's your feeling? Let me know in the comments. Let me know if you feel if I'm onto something there, people. Anyway, next video I'm going to be doing a review of Omega. I've got a couple of polls up on my actual um, channel page, on my community tab. If you want to go and sound off in there, add comments, and you know, hit up whatever you think on there, I'm probably going to be featuring that as part of it. Because although that I want to do my own personal review, I do want to sort of get footnotes and feelings from the community. You guys, in the view of us. So anyway, on that note, goodbye. Goodbye. And goodbye again!